Hello, I'm Christine, and today I'm gonna to be counting down my top 10 audiobooks and deciding whether or not I wanna keep this jacket. It's bigger than I expected. I just want it to look like Dirk Gently. <laughs> audiobook game for a good while now. It's changed my life. As an adult, the older you get, oh, these tags are just like, I can't take them off because I don't know if I want to keep the jacket. The older you get, the harder it is to like casually read. That doesn't mean I'm going to give up on casually reading. Cue audiobooks. <gasps> All those times in your life, like when you're doing laundry, you're cleaning shit, or you're stuck in traffic, and you think to yourself, like, I wish I could read and drive at the same time. With audiobooks, you can't read and drive at the same time. It's unbelievable. Audio <laughs> And there's nothing better than driving with a good audiobook. There's nothing better than doing anything with a good audiobook. With a good audiobook in my ears, I could conquer the world. Maybe not conquer, but like I could clean shit up. I could clean up this apartment. It needs a clean. Anything that you don't need your full brain for, like cleaning, you can listen to an audiobook while you're doing it. Like sometimes I listen in the grocery store and it's kind of like you need a lot of your brain in the grocery store if you don't want to forget shit. But sometimes the book's just too good. So I come back without all the stuff that I wanted. But hey, I got to listen to my audiobook while I was grocery shopping and it was great. Let's get down to it. I'm gonna share my top 10 audiobooks. Audiobooks. I talk about good audiobooks literally all the time and like every video now because I'm always listening to an audiobook. But here is where I'm going to compile them all together. I'm gonna give you my top 10 as of right now, February 2018. Just so you know, before we start, I'm an Audible affiliate. If you haven't gotten into audiobooks yet or if you haven't signed up for any audiobook or deal, if you use my link in the description below, you get your first audiobook for free. Let's do this! Coming in at number 10, this one was really unexpected, but as I was scrolling through all the books I've listened to, I knew this one had to be up there because the audiobook was nine hours and it was like the fastest nine hours of my life. It just flew by and I could not turn this off. And I cleaned my whole room while I was listening to it. Daughter of Deep Silence by Carrie Ryan. Now, while this isn't like the most amazing book ever that stands out in my brain, like this audiobook was so entertaining, so well acted, so well done. I don't know if you liked the show Revenge. If you like that show, you will like this. It was such an entertaining listen. And like, you don't have to extensively concentrate. Some audiobooks, you do have to concentrate. The number of tasks you can do whilst listening to them kind of dwindles down. Like cleaning off your bookcase, for example, you need some of your brain for that. You can't listen to a fantasy novel and clean your bookcase. You'll miss things. But Daughter Deep Silence is one that you can listen to and do a lot of stuff. Coming in at number nine, I have the audiobooks for Lee Bardigo's Shadow and Bone series. Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising. I listened to all of these via audiobook over a one month period. The narrator was so good. She was so much fun to listen to. I was busy running around. I couldn't pick up this series with my hands. Another thing about audiobooks is they're really slow if you don't turn up the speed. I usually have my speed set to 1.5, but when I'm listening for funsies and I have time, I set it to 1.3. 3.5, which is really nice. I'm listening to Harry Potter to go to sleep every night and that I put at 1.35 because why rush it? I don't need to breeze through Harry Potter right now. I want to just enjoy it. While 1.5 isn't rushing, it's a little faster than relaxed. I think actually Shadow and Bone, I was able to listen to it like 1.65 because it talked pretty slow. <laughs> I think I had it a little higher than 1.5. <laughs> Coming in at number eight, I have Little Monsters by Cara Thomas. Wow, what an excellent audiobook. This audiobook was so good that when I got back from like my errands or whatever I was doing, I sat with the book open and reading it with the audiobook on so that they were like reading it to me and acting it out because it was so great. And of course it helps that the book is excellent. It's this thriller, true crime suspense story and the audiobook made it even better. This was only like eight hours or something so I blew through through it. Highly recommend this one. Coming in at number seven, I have The Call by Peter O'Gillen. This 
book slash audio book was amazing. Blew me away with how intensely I was captivated by it. As soon as like I got to the last hour of it, I was setting up for a book talk because I needed to talk about it because it was so intense. I don't know how to describe it. I remember it described itself as like the new Hunger Games, which I hated hearing because so many things describe themselves as the new Hunger Games, but the call was the first thing that actually lived up to. The new Hunger Games hype. It's not like the Hunger Games at all, but it captured me like the Hunger Games captured me. It's such a unique, horrifying story. It's a duology, so I'm definitely gonna get the audiobook for the second book in the series. At number six, I have the entire Harry Potter series by JK Rowling on audiobook. The most spectacular reread of all time was going through all the Harry Potter books via audiobook. Oh, what a joy. Now I'm going through again, listening to them as I fall asleep, 15 minutes at a time with the sleep timer. It makes me so happy and it just relaxes me, makes me feel at home. Like honestly, I listen to it before I go to sleep every night and it helps me fall asleep. So it's my favorite thing. Jim Dale is amazing. He does the Harry Potter audiobooks for the United States. I hear Stephen Fry is just as amazing. He does the UK audiobooks, so it doesn't matter where you are, they're fantastic. If you're having a hard time starting up your audiobook life and you're a giant Harry Potter fan, do it, do it, do it. This is your way. This is your key in. Get yourself a Harry Potter audiobook. It doesn't matter where you start because you're gonna wanna continue. <laughs> My number five is Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. Never have I laughed so hard listening to a book. It was so funny. Finding Audrey is about a girl who's suffering from severe anxiety and it's about her life at home with her family and her family is great. I feel like they had actors for every one of the family members. I, I don't even remember. I just remember hysterically laughing. And since it's a contemporary novel, it's definitely just like a seven hour audiobook, which goes so fast. I don't even seven hours sounds like a lot of hours, but it's really not. <laughs> My number four is the Arc of Size series by Neil Schuster. As many of you know, I just read these within the past month. I read them via audiobook and they were excellent. Like these are excellent books. You can read them obviously with your eyes, but the audiobooks were fantastic. So that is an excellent option if you are busy. If you are on the go and you can't sit and read these scythe books, get the audiobook because wow, it is good. Wow, it's excellent, it's marvelous. It's every good adjective that I can pull out my ass right now. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. The top three audio books. <laughs> At number three, I have the audiobook for Saba Tahir's An Ember in the Ashes series. These are so good. I think this is the first amazing audiobook I ever listened to. For An Ember in the Ashes, I was doing a lot of driving and I was having so much fun in my car because I was listening to An Ember in the Ashes. The book is fabulous itself. This is a fantasy novel and it's a fantastic fantasy audiobook. Like this is, you can't go wrong here. God, it was so good. And then of course, a year later, a Torch Against the Night came out and I needed, like I got the arc, but I needed to wait for the audiobook because the Ember audiobook was so good. I started listening to it again in the car. I went to Starbucks and then I drove around a bunch more because when I got home, I knew I was gonna have to edit and I wanted to listen to my audiobook more. And I remember like toward the very end, I was in the mall, I was looking for a new pair of boots and I was like crying and Steve Madden because dramatic shit was happening and it was just so real. A good audiobook, it's like watching a perfect adaptation of the book. Cause it's exactly the book, but it's being performed. When you watch a movie, you know, it's being performed, but it's not exactly the book, everything's cut out. Good audiobook is the dream movie. You know, like I don't even need to see it cause it's being performed so excellently. So I love the Harry Potter audiobook so much. I'm getting to hear this without like having to read it with my eyes and it's being performed and it's exactly what's in the book. Like I'm not missing anything. I'm hearing like all this extra stuff that you forget happens because you've watched the movie so much. There's one guy doing all the Harry Potter characters. Jim Dale is so talented, you stop noticing it, but it's always so good and so much fun when the audiobook has a full cast and Ember and the Ashes has a full cast. There are different actors doing the different voices of the different characters and it just enhances everything. I'm so excited for book three, so excited. <laughs> Coming in at number two, I have another fantastic fabulous 
fantasy. And that is the Six of Crows and the Crooked Kingdom Ali Bardugo audiobooks. They're amazing. Like, I wouldn't read these any other way. Read and listen if you need to. Oh my gosh, they're so good! There's another one that has a full cast. If you don't know, this is the story of a heist crew in the Grishaverse. The characters are so good! There's so much depth and the world is so real! And the audiobook is everything. Because the writing in the books is so good, hearing the dialogue performed, it's just a surreal experience. It's like I'm watching the movie. Like I said, the perfect book adaptation because it is the book just being spoken aloud. <laughs> if you've been looking to read these and you haven't picked them up yet, do the audiobook. Do the audiobook. Do the audiobook. <laughs> Last, ladies and gentlemen, but not least, my favorite audiobooks of all time right now, The Illuminae series by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. These audiobooks are just the coolest thing I've ever listened to. I'll sit and just stare at the wall and listen to these audiobooks because they're so good that I've just transported to this. And I remember listening to Illuminae for the first time in the very beginning and thinking like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to like listen to this whole book. Like, <laughs> give it a second. Like, give it a hot second when you start listening to Illuminae. Cause you just gotta like, you gotta adjust and then all of a sudden, you're there! It's like all of a sudden you're, you're not even where you are. It's so well done. It's like a radio show from the 20s. It's like you're watching a movie except you're only hearing the audio. You know what I'm talking about? That's what this is like except I'm also seeing it because that's that's what happens when it's done well and when it's written well. If you know about these books, you know that they're written in a really cool format like through IMs and through video footage. You have someone like reciting what they see on the video footage and all this different stuff. And it sounds like it's something that you need to look at with your eyes. But you don't. I mean, you could. You could and it'll just enhance the experience. But honestly, these audiobooks are the best audiobooks I've ever listened to ever. And there's one more book called Obsidio. It's coming out in March. I am so excited for it. I'm immediately getting the audiobook. This is a science fiction story and has like everything you'll ever want in a science fiction story. I'm just watching Battlestar Galactica now and the series in general has like a Battlestar Galactica feel. So if you like that, you love this. Just if you like good books, you love this. It's just really, really good. These are probably my favorite sci-fi books. It's a full cast, obviously. I don't know what else to say. You really just gotta listen to them. Highly, 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 highly recommend. I have book talks for both of these. I have book talks, I think, for every single book I showed you today. Oh, except for Lee Bardugo's Shadow and Bone series. Everything else and there's a book talk for. So you can listen to it and then we can discuss it together and it'll be great. And those are my top 10 favorite audiobooks of all time right now. If there's an audiobook that you absolutely love that I have not talked about today, please leave it in the description below so I can check it out. My name's Christine. I make videos every Tuesday. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!